If you want more camera controls for animation, then you can use Camera Rigs plugin inside of Blender. So to use Camera Rigs plugin, first of all, you have to enable the plugin by going into the edit menu and by going into preferences. So over here, you can see add-ons is an option right here. So once you go to add-ons, you can grow, uh, scroll down right here. And here you can see add camera rigs is an option. So once you turn on this plugin, what happens is that you can bring in camera rigs. So I'm just going to go around the uh, delete the default camera right here. I'm just going to go around delete the light as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift A on my keyboard and over here on camera you can see that you got different camera rigs right here. So if I were to select dolly camera rig then you can see that there's the camera right here and over here there's the build camera rig and you can go around change the camera rig type to 2D right here or change it to crane according to how you want or dolly right here according to how you want. So now what I can do is I can change the position of the camera right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into animation mode and now I'm going to uh, set the camera view right here to this camera right here. So I'm just going to go around right here onto the camera. So right now I'm in pose mode. So I'm just going to go to object mode, select out the camera and then over here, I'm just going to go around, select out the camera right here. So there you go, there's the cube, there you go, there's the dollar rig, there's the, there you go, the dolly camera. So now over here, I'm going to press zero and then it'll uh, show that camera view right here. So now over here, you can see that these are the rigs for the camera. So what you can do is you can go to pose mode and now you can select this out. You can press T on your keyboard to bring in the controls and now you can move this out and you can see that the camera moves along uh, with uh, the uh, focus point right here. So you can just move this around and this is how it seems. You can move the camera over here, the entire camera, and then over here there's another controls and if you were to move this, you can see that you can change the angle of the camera right here, just like this. So you can go around over here, change this out over here as well. So what you can do is you can animate these. So I'm going to add an automatic keyframes right here. And there you go, this is what you have. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, I'm going to move this down right here and I'm going to move this over here on the left as well. So let's say I'm going to move this all the way to the left right here, move this around and there you go, the keyframe has been set right here. So over here, this is what you have. So I'm just going to go around to the keyframe over here in the beginning, just like this. And there you go. So this is what you have as you can see. You can also go around change the keyframe right here. So now if I were to play this around, you can see that I got this kind of a camera rig right here, camera rig animation, and there you go. You can also move the entire camera right here by using the main rig over here. So uh, besides this over here, if you were to expand this, and if you were to select out the camera right here, you can also see the camera rig controls. Like you can see the focal length right here. You can increase and decrease this out. You can uh, work around with clipping, even enable depth of field right here. So you got the camera rig controls over here as well, which you can experiment around with. And that is how you can use the pose mode to control out the camera rig animation. And you can see that it is much more in control. You can go around, focus out in a particular object and so forth by using the camera rigs plugin. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.